Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today's video is a St. Patrick's Day wreath. If you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Well, I'm going to start off with the uh, white grapevine. And this was a regular grapevine wreath that I got at Walmart years ago. And I have sprayed painted it white because it was starting to look a little shabby. And I've got some flowers. I've got the green carnations. And I've got some white lilacs. And I've got um, the gold coins. Lots of ribbon. And I'm not really sure what else is going to go in here. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice big bow for this. And I'll be back. Okay, i got the ribbon on the wreath. And now I'm going to start cutting up some of those uh, green flowers. And I'm going to cut these, oh, I don't know, maybe three inches because I want them to be able to tuck inside the grapevine. So I'll be back after I cut them up. Okay, um, I've got them all cut down to about three inches and I'm going to use the grapevine to hold these. And I'll just repeat what I do on one side to the other. Then I'm going to space these out around, and same goes for these. Okay, I got all the carnations in and the um, glitter shamrocks. And now to break it up a little bit, I'm going to put the um, lilacs in. And I'm just going to space these in and around all of the carnations. I always love the way the white breaks everything up. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I've got these foam uh, cauldrons from the Dollar Tree. And I've got some coins from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be gluing, hot gluing, the uh, coins behind the cauldron. Okay, this um, is awfully thin just so you know. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue a bunch of these on the back and maybe a couple in the front. I'm just being careful to make sure that the coins are coming up at the top and not out the sides. And I think I'm actually going to go up a little bit in the back. And then I'll put one in the front. Well, I got them on the back. And I was going to put this one on the front. But I just don't like it. So we're just going to keep the five in the back. And this is an extra wire from... Um, it's left over from the carnations that I cut off. And I'm going to glue that to the back so that it'll stick in the bottom of the wreath. And 
And since this is so flimsy, I'm going to put something over top of that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put another one of these on or a piece of ribbon. Okay, I've decided I'm going to put another one of the um, cauldrons on the back. And then I'm going to be putting a little bit of glue down in here too. And that way it sandwiches everything in nicely. Again, I'm just using the um, grapevine to hold everything in place. Hmm. I like that. I'm going to add a coin to the center of the um, bow just to bring the gold up. And I'm going to put some uh, um, some more of these coins, but I'm going to put them on the leaves. Because when I take this apart, I don't want the wreath to be messed up. And I'm just going to put a couple more of those coins in, not too many. And there it is, completely done. And this really did not take all that long. And it took very little supplies. I just love the way that cauldron looks on the bottom. And you can see I just put a few of the coins in there, not too many. Because I don't need it to overpower it. So, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.